Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are back with another TNG release. I finally have acquired a few more in my never-ending quest to get the entire lineup. This time, we've got ourselves the T-Rex, and this is one that I've wanted ever since it was unveiled, and I stupidly did not place a pre-order when these had shown up all over eBay for a short period of time. I was like, eh, I don't want to pre-order them all now, I'll just wait till they release. That was a very big mistake because I have spent a long time since then trying to complete this line and we're getting closer now. But this one is one that, again, I felt like looked really cool. We've got a T-Rex, obviously, a lipless T-Rex, but a decent looking one for sure. You can see the species name, the TNG logo. And if we turn it around, you're going to see pretty much the same thing again on the other side. They should start to kind of do what other companies like Rebor and How Long Good and stuff like that does, where they sort of put like the images on the back to show off all the different releases they have out. That would be pretty fun, but the box looks nice. I also want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to my good friend Dino Mike Mac, who is actually responsible for helping me acquire these. So let's pop this out of the box and check it out. So first of all, as soon as you open the box, you now actually get booklets. So that leads me to believe that maybe this is a newer release of the T-Rex because the uh, older releases that I had of the TNG figures did not include these booklets. So that's really cool. You can see that's their Giganotosaurus there on the front. We also have a shot back there of the Spinosaurus that is released. And then if you open the booklet up... It's not like your usual booklet. You can kind of open it up and see, uh, like it extends like this. And you can see many of the figures actually that we have already reviewed here on the channel. And TNG absolutely makes some of the single best prehistoric mammals you will see anywhere. And then as we continue to move through again, we have the Tyrannosaurus. We've got the Carnotaurus, which we've reviewed. The uh, Spinosaurus. Boy, there's so many. The Giga, the... Uh, a velociraptor and stuff so lots of really cool species i'm not sure yeah i guess we got more on the other side so let's turn it around over here we have again a ton of different figures that i've already reviewed with the Oviraptor, the plesiosaur the quetzalcoatlus which actually that's the older version of the quetzalcoatlus there is a newer version out with a different paint scheme which i will have up for review very soon the ankylosaurus which i recently posted a review of the cryolophosaurus the triceratops and then the only one so far that i have not had any luck as far as this booklet goes anyway of finding is that allosaurus that one is quite the mystery to me but the booklet is really quite nice, and I like the addition of this being in here. And then, of course, our Tyrannosaurus Rex model itself. I will say it looks a little different in hand than the uh, images there on the box. Specifically, I noticed that on the box there was like a darker tone, like this black tone that we have here, sort of outlining the stripes. I don't really see that here on the actual factory-released version, but I will say it is still really quite nice-looking. And uh, definitely a pretty cool pose for our Tyrannosaurus. Let me just move this over a little bit. Nice pose with it looking up and everything. Pretty nice looking paint apps, I think, for the most part. They look nice and natural, so pretty cool. Definitely excited to get a closer look at this one, so let's go ahead and jump straight to it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our T-Rex, you can see we definitely have some decent looking detail here included, some nice looking scale detail and stuff, as well as some very nice looking paint apps. I think the paint apps are super well done, especially here in the face. There's quite a bit of variation of lighter and darker shades of browns as well as blacks included almost a jurassic park sort of look to this one in the face as we have that darker tone outlining the eye and then the kind of striping effect moving through definitely reminiscent to a jp rex there's also some nice lighter tones here on the underside the transitions are extremely smooth and natural down into those areas there's even some more of the browns kind of striping down a little bit here and there we do have an articulated jaw so we can kind of open that up and get a better look the paint is very very nice and naturally applied very smooth obviously airbrushed on for the most part we could see the nostrils sculpted out up here the eye is also painted really nicely with an orange given a black and sports a nice gloss coat so that's a plus i also really like how they painted the teeth you can see that they've given it almost like an orangish brown closer to the gum line and then painted the teeth out as they move through the teeth also have a nice kind of a gloss coat to them so they shine pretty realistically 
and the inside of the mouth has a very nice pinkish tone but there's a reddish wash that's been applied to certain areas to highlight the detail look at that that looks really nice in there that red wash absolutely makes the detail pop beautifully they did a very good job of detailing the inside of the mouth the tongue as well sports a nice texturing to it really nice i like that they actually didn't include the pink uh, the darker, I mean the red wash, I'm sorry, not pink, the red wash to the tongue, but it still looks like it has a little variation of color to it. And then of course the skin here on the side of the mouth, you can see stretching, looks a little goofy because of the articulation of the jaw, but it still works okay. And you can see the teeth are painted pretty nicely, no real sloppiness, maybe a little bit right there. But for the most part, the paintwork looks really good on the T-Rex, and uh, the jaw articulates really nicely. You can see it works perfectly for the figure. The paintwork also looks pretty consistent on this side compared to what we just saw on the initial side as well. As you lead up here onto the top of the T-Rex, you can see a striping again moving down through the course of the body. You even have almost like some reddish browns up here on the back of the head and neck of the T-Rex. There's a row of kind of scoots following along the spinal column of the T-Rex as you move down. And if you take a look here at the opposing side, you can see the ear back there. You can also see again, the scale detail looks really nice. You've kind of larger sort of rough and rugged looking scales up in the face, a little bit finer skin texture, but still kind of gives me the feeling of looking like a really rough sort of a skin texture for this T-Rex. You can also see a nice turn in the neck for the dinosaur. The skin wrinkles in this area of the neck are shown nicely. Again, really smooth transition to the underbelly of the T-Rex. The dark wash is present on this, which helps to really highlight all of the detail. The paintwork of TNG figures is usually extremely impressive. I definitely think that is the same case here for this Rex. As you move down here into the body, you can see the shoulder blade. Also lots of different variation to the scales and everything moving down as you lead down into the arm. The muscle definition is present there. You can see we darken to a dark, dark tone for the fingers as you lead out into the nails the nails are kind of painted but not really like it looks like that darker tone that they applied was meant to be the same coloration for the nails but this nail is sort of missed when it comes to that but the detailing here running along the underside looks quite nice for the rex as well the skin texture looks very good we have like a yellowish sort of a tone for the underbelly of the T-Rex. A little beefiness as well, making them look pretty healthy. As you move up, you can actually sort of make out the rib cage a little bit right there. You can see the skin stretching off of the stomach as this leg is trailing. And all sorts of skin wrinkles here moving up along the stomach in front of the thigh. Again, showing off that movement. You have that darker tone sort of outlining those areas of coloration. But as you move up, you can see just very subtle differences in the browns. They have applied a good bit of paintwork to this to help give it a nice realistic look. You've got that striping effect continuing to move down along the back. The scoots continuing to follow along the spinal column. You can make out the hip bone right there. Interestingly enough, as you lead out, the stripes actually stop. And then as you lead out through the rest of the tail, it looks like we don't really have any of that striping anymore. As you move down into the thigh, the thigh does sport some nice muscle definition. Again, really smooth transitions to that kind of like yellowish tone there that we have for the back of the leg we do have a striping effect moving down through the course of the thigh as you lead down you've got the knee right there nice big bulging calf muscle and then you lead down into the foot sculpt you have some scoots moving down through the course of the toes the foot darkens again like we saw basically with the hands the toes are sculpted nicely they're also kind of picking up off of the ground as the t-rex takes a step again the nails are painted a little bit poorly they're just not perfectly painted i feel like they rather than giving it like a quick airbrushing over really need to focus on painting the nails more specifically to improve that and if you look over here like the dew claw doesn't have any paintwork at all to it so that straight away is a bit of a downside for the figure as you move up here you've got some more skin wrinkles back behind the thigh and as we lead out the skin texture i think looks really really good on the figure and again it is very nicely painted we have that kind of striping effect moving out i actually think i prefer the paintwork of this over the version that i saw in the box i think the version on the box looked a little bit more like you know paint on a figure whereas this looks more in my opinion like actual body color and then you can see that the you know brownish tone overtakes pretty much the entire tip of the tail we also have a really nice curve in the tail as it leads down out there toward the tip this side of course of the rex we have the head kind of facing away from us so you can really see the skin stretching as well as tensing in the neck very nice of tng to capture that small detail that you would definitely see 
considering the positioning of the T-Rex. I really do quite like that. As you move down again, you can see the arms look pretty good down here as well. Again, you've got the skin wrinkling and, you know, kind of scrunched up in the stomach as this leg pushes into the stomach right there. You can also see again that the skin texture looks absolutely beautiful on this T-Rex moving through. The hip bone again is present as you lead down the thigh. The thigh muscles look really good, definitely tensing, especially as the Rex is currently supporting a large amount of the weight as that foot is picking up off of the ground. So you would expect a good bit of tensing in the muscle definition of this leg, especially in that calf. You again have the knee right there. And then as you move down, you've got the really nice foot sculpt over here. Again, it looks better as far as the paintwork of the nails go. Still not perfect, but better. And interestingly enough, they did kind of highlight the nail of the Ducla on that side. So very inconsistent as far as the paintwork of the nails goes. But as you move up again, you can see leading out into the tail, we still have that very cool kind of uh, bend in the tail. The tail kind of bends away from us a little bit, but not a whole lot. So absolutely a cool T-Rex. Really happy to now finally have this one in my collection. As far as a size goes for a length from the tail to the snout, about 11 and 3 quarter inches or just shy of 30 centimeters. And then for a height, the highest point is definitely the tip of the snout, a little over 5 and a half inches or around 14 centimeters. For a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovosaurus, Robert Muldoon, and the Collect A human being next to our TNG Tyrannosaurus Rex. And you can see that it's very similar in size, honestly, to the Papa Rex. They are absolutely a similar scale. They almost look like they are the exact same scale. And then for another size comparison with a very similarly sized T-Rex, we have the Papa Running Rex. But you can see that the Papa Running Rex is just a little bit bigger than our TNG version. We also have Wilson from PNSO, their Tyrannosaurus Rex, next to the TNG version. And you can see, again, pretty similar in size with the TNG version, only being a little bit smaller. So I think that might be the case for most Tyrannosaur comparisons, unless you go to like larger ones like the Rebor one. But it's probably a little bit smaller than your standard 135th scale T-Rex. The only thing I can say I really would have liked to have seen on this Rex from TNG is a little more bulkiness. Like we see bulkiness on the PNSO version. The TNG version almost looks a little starved in comparison. Then we also have a comparison with the TNG Carnotaurus next to their T-Rex to give you an idea of how these size up next to each other if you happen to have the Carno. And then for one final and one very random comparison, basically for anybody that is into collecting the TNG line, we have their Woolly Mammoth here next to the T-Rex as well to give you one last comparison. So this TNG Tyrannosaurus Rex is pretty cool. It's definitely not their best figure. It's definitely not even what I would say is one of their best figures. I don't know that you'll really find when it comes to like their best. I don't know if you'll find that in any of their dinosaurs, though their dinosaurs are really nice for the most part, but their mammals are where they excel, if you ask me. However, the T-Rex is still pretty cool. It definitely has some very, very nice looking fine detail, very highly detailed, shows off all the skin wrinkles and folds you would want very nice very impressive and crisp scale detail and skin texture throughout i like that they've definitely given it a very highly detailed appearance when it comes to the little things like the uh, muscles tensing and stuff and like the tensing in the neck when it comes to like the turn in the neck and stuff little things like that i feel like help to really amp up the realism of a model the paintwork is also pretty decently done. Again, the color scheme isn't anything memorable or super flashy. And for the most part, it looks natural. There are a few areas I'm not a huge fan of, like the striping down the leg and stuff I think looks a little out of place. But the majority of the figure does sport a fairly naturalistic coloration and paint scheme. And it's all pretty decently applied overall. So, uh... The paint scheme and paint apps are pretty good. The only thing that's really not good when it comes to the paint apps, in my opinion, will be the nails of both the hands and the feet. They're very inconsistent when it comes to the way that they're painted. And you also have an articulated jaw, which is fun, which actually works really, really nicely. So overall, it is definitely a fun T-Rex figure, and I am hoping that it becomes more available as time goes on because currently it's still again a really hard one to get a hold of tng stuff has been just almost like impossible at times to get my hands on but they seem to be trickling out a little more becoming a little more 
common so hopefully that will continue to be the case moving into the future if you are interested in picking one of these up for yourself i don't know right off the bat where you can get a hold of the t-rex but if i can find a link i will include it if not now at some point in the future when i find one again i will definitely come back and include a link once i do locate one but otherwise, it is a very cool Rex. Definitely, in my opinion, worth picking up. So make sure you let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this. And also like and subscribe. And I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.